A new tonight as school COVID case counts continue to rise and new health protocols are now in place. We want to give you some clarity about what happens when your student is affected. Fox 13's John Franke spoke with the Granite School District today to learn how that district is navigating this challenging school year. We're just doing the best we can to work through a challenging circumstance. As expected, the fall 2021 term is shaping up to be anything but easy. COVID case counts are higher than they've been in months. And while the virus is not going away, mask mandates have. With the number one priority now being keeping kids safely in the classroom, school districts are juggling all the protocols we saw last year and a few more. Don't think they're that different. I, I think uh, people are probably, and it's really largely unchanged from last year. The Granite School District Case Count Dashboard is one of the first places families can go to see the most up-to-date information about their school. That is actually live updated as cases are inputted by health department and by where well, there's actually two ways a case can come in, one through the health department through a testing site and one through, uh, from a parent notifying us that their child tested positive. The biggest difference for schools this year is what happens when a positive case is reported. That's when the district's contact tracers go to work. They're going to identify anybody who's been with that student within a 24-hour period for longer than 15 minutes within six feet. Then, those who've been exposed can avoid quarantine if they meet one of these three variables, wearing a mask in school, if they're vaccinated, or recovered from the virus in the last 90 days. More challenging this year because there are all these different types of variables that could come into play on whether a quarantine is necessary or not. Granite says the county also directs them to send email notifications like this to to all students in a classroom where a positive case is confirmed regardless of exposure, all in an effort to be transparent and give families as many tools as possible to keep their kids safe. School in and of itself is actually going quite well. Um, we're, I, I will tell you we're not seeing nearly as many quarantines this year as we have in the past. And again, that's because of increased vaccination rates and in some instances, uh, mask wearing. In most cases, districts receive their COVID-19 safety guidance and case counts from the local or county health departments. And to find a complete list of every district's COVID-19 case dashboard, just go to our website at fox13now.com. In Magna, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.